guys and welcome to the only channel bringing you BMET tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. Today in class we discuss metric notation and basic circuit fundamentals. Metric notation is something you've utilized before and probably didn't even know it. Commonly used metric prefixes are used for running events. Think of a 5 km run. They are also used when we talk about computer memory. 16 gigs of RAM is the gaming standard right now. Metric prefixes are names used in places of powers of 10 and on schematics, which you will learn more about in later courses. Table 3 and 4 on your formula sheet has commonly used prefixes and symbols. This chart can help you converting decimals to metric prefixes. You can use the linear scale located in Table 3 to convert from a decimal number to a metric prefix. This can be done very quickly by utilizing a calculator. Press ENG to convert from a larger value to a smaller value, and then pressing SHIFT then ENG converts from a smaller value to a large value. When performing math operations with metric notation, standard math rules apply. We then moved on to talking about basic circuit fundamentals. First, we'll talk about the source. This is where our circuit will get its power from. Batteries or direct current power supplies will be used for your first seven days in class. The long line represents the positive terminal of the battery, while the short line represents the negative terminal. Next is the conductor. This provides a path for electrons to flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the source. Current will flow when a path is provided. No path means no current flow. A conductor is any material that will allow electrons to move with no opposition, made of materials such as copper, gold, silver, and aluminum. Examples of conductors are wires, solder runs, and cables. An insulator is utilized to prevent and stop the movement of electrons. These are made of non-metallic materials such as porcelain, glass, rubber, plastic, wood, or paper. Examples include the coating surrounding a wire or the space between the plates of a capacitor. Semiconductors are any material that can be controlled to act like a conductor or an insulator, made of germanium or silicon. A load is the component or device in the circuit that opposes the flow of current, but still allows the current to flow through the circuit. This is anything that performs useful work could be a fan, resistor, or a light bulb. These are just a few examples. There are way too many to list. Bottom line, an electrical circuit is a device that is used to control voltage and current to perform useful work. All right, guys, that's it for day one recap. As always, stay classy, keep your head up.